you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Ugly. Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee has graced the octagon. He's ready to fight. Folks, here we go. All eyes are on the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. Future might be in the UFC Hall of Fame, but he certainly didn't want to hear that noise in the fighter meeting. He is focused on the present, and that is this significant challenge against the number one contender tonight. Yeah, he's not looking down the line. This is the guy that lives in the here and now. He told us the other day, John, that he has so many more defenses to put himself alongside the great welterweight champions, Kamaru Usman and George St. Pierre. He has got a real idea of where he wants to go, and he feels like tonight is just another step in the road to great. And he's been inspired by all of those great welterweights that preceded him, Leon Edwards among them. Now it's his turn to shine on a big stage yet again. Charles Oliver is ready to engage yet again. Our tale of the date for this welterweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Welterweight champion of the world, Charles Dobrox Oliveira. So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. All right, so Charles Oliveira ready to get back to it right now. He has evolved his game into the most dangerous lightweight in the world. Maybe the most dangerous pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world right now here in modern-day mixed martial arts. Early round action here, Charles Oliveira pressing forward, guard high, in constant pursuit of his foe. Yeah, classic Muay Thai, man. Lifting that knee to draw to reaction, and if you give him too big a reaction, he will start you with that beautiful left hook. The guy is, has tremendous power, and he sets up his strikes like not many guys in the UFC, or not many people in the UFC. Pretty strong jab there by Oliveira. Went for the inside leg kick. Back and forth we go. Oliveira doing the right things defensively. Nice punch by Lee. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high. And now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, nice kick. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish it. He rocked him, he hurt him bad. He could find that one shot to close the door. He could not shut the lights off. And now, he's tasked to try to find that shot again. And 
knees now switching his stance. Trying to establish that jab once again. Beat him to the punch. Beat nice him. kick. Yep. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. 90 seconds to go. Takedown defense holds up. Shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big left hand. Oh! Oh! Big knee to the body. Man alive! And now a head kick to boot. Nice level change. Gets back to his feet. Oh, big left. Oh, man, he's a hard. Oh, nice right hand. Come on, let's get it. Let's get it. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh. Now to next. All right. Take a deep breath. Relaxa. Respira. Okay, that was perfect. Great control on the ground. But I need you to be more active on this. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. In fact, take down for Charles Oliveira here. That is tight. <laughs> oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth. The submission defense wins this transition. Beautiful body kick. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Checks the leg kick. Just missed with that right hand. Three minutes and change to go in round two. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him and misses with it there. Both guys appeared to land there. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Nice uppercut. Oh, how clean is that? Nice strike. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, another beautiful takedown stuffed there. Quick reaction by the fighter, and he's able to stay upright yet again. Well, he recognizes his advantages. He understands that he's much better on the feet than this Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter. So every time a takedown comes in his direction, he thwarts it, and then he gets right back to work with his hands. Look at the control and the posture as that big knee lands. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. All right, there it is, yet another strike targeting that already bruised area on his body. Well, you could tell that he had a purpose to come out here, make an investment, and see how it would play out. It seems to be working right now. 30 seconds to go. A oh, headshot, bang, as the high kick lands. Double leg here, another big take now. 10 seconds to go in the round. 
right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Round three next. Let's stop. Heading back to the corner now after that round. Olivera's corner has some work to do. They're gonna take a look at that lip. Hopefully the cut man can do his thing and just make sure that it doesn't continue to bleed and provide further adversity for him in this fight. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter, but he has never looked this good. And that is, that is partly because his opponent is not defending. Ready to fight. Ready. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets underway. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that one. Well, why fix what's not broken? Why not go right back to that overhand here again? Staying busy in the clinch, lands a nice punch there. And he's got a bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. Hands higher, hands higher. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. Oh, he's in the clinch. Look in the clinch there is good by Lee. to go in our third round. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Now inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Our right, rubber guard now, DC, some submissions at his disposal if he so chooses. Yeah, he does have a couple submissions. They're very rare submissions. Go-go plata, omo plata. But if the guy has any understanding of submission defense, he knows how to stay safe. This position. So there are advantages to being here, but the danger isn't so vast that you should pay. Yeah, we've only seen a handful of Bono Plata's in UFC history. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys going out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. Oh, effective strike from the clinch there by Lee. Well, if body language is any indication, mentally he is not back in this fight after that knockdown earlier in the round. I mean, we thought the fight was over, so I guess it's a credit to him to still even be fighting. But he's got to do something different if he has any design to Oh, what a hit kick there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Olivera's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got hit by one of those offerings from his opponent. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him Ready in the octagon tonight. Ready. Let's do it. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Here we go. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. you got to get back off of that stool, and this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Oh, a huge block there. 
Oh, nice takedown defense. He does a great job getting out of that clutch position. Change in the pocket here. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Lands a beautiful leg kick. You don't really understand. After you take a head kick like this, that is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Time to hit the Sunoco station. Both of these fighters are on empty. This looks like when I played video games as a seven-year-old. <laughs> that it goes nothing but butt mashing. You two guys have butt mashed to the point that neither one of you can find a knockout. You better hope your parents are walking through and watch you guys do that fatigue. This is embarrassing. Learn to play the game. Just over two minutes to go. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Under a minute now to go on the round. Oh, effective use of the jab by Lee. Now, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just... Oh! And there it is! Holy smokes! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 29 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the foul.